Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here and today I'm going to be reviewing an application called Pixel R Express. So basically what this application is, it's a um, it's a photo editing application, so it has more than 600 effects, overlays, and borders to personalize any image for free. Um, it's a fun, uh, free photo editor that lets you crop, resize, and fix any picture, remove red eye, and whiten teeth if you have yellow teeth. Hopefully not. Uh, so... That's basically the description that is on um, on their Google Play Store site. So let's go ahead and check out the application and if it is actually worth downloading, in my opinion, obviously. So I actually did have this application on my phone for a while. Uh, I did use it. Let's go ahead and look at the settings first. So. Um, we have a default save size here. Let's go ahead and look. So you have a small, medium, large, or none. Just go ahead and leave it at the default. Then we have the default save folder. So you could go ahead and change that if you want. Camera mode, uh, start app in camera mode. We have that selected as no. Approve data collection. And this says in the box, if, if the box is checked, you have approved the collection of usage data. Okay, so uh, some of these effects actually, I was uh, a little notification popped up when I started out, started up the application that some effects uh, don't work unless you have a connection to the internet. So I'm guessing that this uh, option is uh, has something to do with that. Uh, so you could get more apps from uh, PixLR here or visit their website and you could read their legal and privacy information. Um, so let's go ahead and take a quick photo of um, the map of Africa over here. I'm actually planning to get like a new little map thing here. Uh, I kind of got tired and it's ripping and stuff. Um, I have like a little pretty big mouse pad coming in from uh, deal extreme so maybe we'll use that so we took the picture through the application uh, here at the bottom we have um, if you want to keep the photo retake it I think or approve it so we're gonna go ahead and approve the picture and here at the bottom we get two options uh, four different options we got adjustment effect overlay and border and here at the top we got close or save the image. So let's go ahead and look at some of the adjustments that we can make with the photo. So uh, right here we got color splash, we got sharpen, denoise, red eye, whiten, touch up, focal blur, crop, rotate, auto fix, uh, color, contrast, blur. Let's go ahead and see if we could scroll. We cannot. Let's go ahead and look at some of these effects. I'm actually wondering what we know what some of these obviously do, so sharpen, denoise, red eye, whiten, we won't look at, um, crop, rotate. Let's go ahead and look at auto fix. I'm actually not sure what this is. Um, I didn't see any difference there, so maybe it auto fixes the uh, lighting in the photo, stuff like that. Uh, here you could play around with the colors of the photo. You can make it darker, lighter, and the fo like uh, the application is really good in implementing the effect on your applic on your photo. It's uh, pretty much uh, takes effect right away. So look at that. We could uh, play around with the colors here, add some different hue. Let's go ahead and apply that. Um, let's go ahead and look at um, contrast. We know focal blur. What would, it, would this be? Oh, so this is actually something pretty cool. So you could uh, pick a focus point. Like let's pick uh, Libya. So you want to main like select the main area of the focal point, obviously, and then. Uh, there's a way to adjust the blur, blur area, like the blur, oh, so the blur s fade. And as you can see, 
the rest of the map is blurred out mostly uh, while um, it's focusing while it looks like uh, it's everything's focused on the one country Libya which is actually pretty cool let's go ahead and apply that effect oh and uh, I actually didn't even mention that uh, there you could also uh, pick a linear focal point or there's a also glow color boost blurring you could also play around with those um, touch up let's go ahead and look at this so there's a um, size spot shade shine you could go ahead and reset those things um, let's go ahead and look at effects so we got a couple different effects over here we got vintage creative default soft subtle too old and unicolor so let's go ahead and choose one of these and see what it ends up doing to the photo oh so there are categories within categories actually so um, and you could scroll through them so there are a lot of effects and you could actually favorite some of them so you could access them quicker and here we got some overlays can overlay with smoke um, space that was actually um, let's go ahead so some of these I think you actually have to uh, so smoke we didn't have to get so as you can see it looks like there's like smoke around the picture which is pretty cool let's go ahead and apply that uh, some of them you can actually have to download as you saw space it gives me a notification that I don't have any network connection right now so I can't download the um, the overlay let's go ahead and look at some borders so um, couple of borders over here let's go let's see which one we could choose from so once again we have to have network connection so let's go ahead and choose the film ones it seems to be easy to access and there we go so as you could see we got the film border up top and there's it's probably at the bottom as well yes it is so let's go ahead and save the image there's also a couple other buttons that appear at the very top uh, it's undo and redo so you could uh, go ahead and like reverse the changes as uh, you add it to the photo so as you could see I undo the um, the border and you could go ahead and put it back by pressing redo and let's go ahead and save the image and uh, and ask you where you want to save the image you could go ahead and share the image uh, ask you to choose a size we're gonna go ahead and select the original so it tells you it's saving please wait this is the sharing option so it's we're probably going to be able to share the photo on Facebook Twitter and other as you could see you could even uh, share it on pixel R Express uh, you could email it uh, Bluetooth share it send it to a text message I actually don't have a Facebook application right now so that's probably why it's not popping up so you could also save it to gallery uh, also pick the size we're gonna go ahead and save it so as we could see we go to gallery and there's a new for folder created called PixLR Express we could go ahead and click that right there and we have our edited image so uh, this was a quick review of Pixelar Express, a quick and easy um, photo editing uh, application for your Android devices. Um, so it's a great pickup. I'm actually going to keep this on my phone. It has pretty uh, a lot of cool effects and overlays. So that's a big plus with the application. Uh, I'm going going to also quickly mention that it has a really good rating on um, the Play Store. It's got an average of 4.8 and over 27,000 ratings. So you could tell that this application is a really good application, very popular with the people and a lot of satisfied users. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to give me a uh, like, uh, subscribe. And check out my previous videos. Uh, so thanks for watching. See you in the next video.